Hello Internet, my name is Joshua and I want to teach you how to code with Java and Kotlin with this question, right? A function that returns to some two numbers. Um, if you want to do this question also guys, I'll leave a link below. Now you might be asking why you, your college class or your um, interview, if they even give such a simple question like this, would ask you a question like that. I mean, what in the world, why? And so I give you the history why. Long ago, you know, super powerful warriors joined their powers together through a process called fusion, ha! Huh? And with that process, you make others wonder, what is their power level after that? And so, we shall do that with the power of coding. Now, let's see here. Okay, um, before we start a problem, I know it's easy, but I'll show you my process of solving small and big problems. I find out what are the inputs. So far, they're just integers, two integers. Okay, what are the outputs? Um, the output we want is an int. We can tell that by the signature right here. I mean, the by this int right here. And now the goal is return to sum. All right, now this should be easy. Um, oh yeah, by the way, guys, in case you're new to coding, these are called comments. These comments help the readers and other people who want to view your code. Um, what is the intention of this function? Um, inputs and outputs, etc. I might discuss it in another video. But anyways, let's just get to it. Um, we want to initialize a variable. I'll, I call this, um, first we declare it in sum, and we initialize it by adding the parameters together because we want the sum. Now it's important that you make sure that your variables match the intentions of what it's supposed to hold. Like its intention is to hold the sum of the parameters one and two. And you return that sum. Simple as that. Now let's run the test if it works. Oh, hot diggity dang. It passes every test case. Now, in order to make sure it works, you submit the submit button. It goes through all the other hidden test cases that it holds. Hopefully, it goes through. Sweet as candy. Now, let's do this in Kotlin. All right, interesting. Now, I could do the same thing in Kotlin. is almost like a slang version in Java. You don't have to do semicolons or that interesting punctuation stuff. Um, it's a simple way of doing it, and I could do the same thing as I did before, you know, declare a variable of sum it equals to param1 plus param2, and I could just return the sum like that. But since that um, Kotlin has an interesting, um, function, interesting feature where you could submit just um, a single line solution to the problem. Uh, for example, let's see here. Oh, by the way, this, the reason why I don't have to declare why it's an int is because um, it could have um, type inference where it could technically just determine that based on what that um, what this variable, how this variable obtained that data. Like, for example, it came from two integers, so that's why it knows that this would be an integer too when it returns it. Now, okay, guys. Now, one thing about Kotlin, you could do single line, you could return single line values. So if I were to do it, it would be like this. Uh, int equals param1 plus param2. If you don't have to hint what it is, the return function. I did a quick research on this because I'm still learning about Kotlin myself. But all right, interesting. So see, you could omit the braces. It's good for short syntaxes. And let's see here. And you can see why it's not, you, well, you don't have to um, declare the return value because this is inferred by the compiler, see? There's so much inference about Kotlin. I think that's why the industry is favoring um, Android developers to use this one, which I intend to be. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you have any questions, um, please leave it in the comments below, and I'll see. Help try to help you guys with your questions. And also, um, please like and subscribe because if you do, I'll give you a brand new Tesla, and it has a hot set of wheels and could go up to 80 miles per hour just like and subscribe and and this will be right at your doorstep just glistening under the beautiful sun i'm just kidding guys anyways you have a beautiful day and i'll talk to you soon goodbye